man, even even in even having experience in the game industry, uh, I still didn't feel I really understood how game engines get made. It's not a welcoming field. I know plenty of people who've hired people who they really don't think are even that good at engine programming, but who were definitely the best they could get. A bunch of students making a game engine, like that sounds kind of cool, right? It also seems like seems like something you probably shouldn't be doing, but <laughs> at the same time. I'm a student at Carnegie Mellon's Entertainment Technology Center, where students form teams to create deliverable products in a semester. I got assigned to a pre-established team of students. Their goal? To build a game engine. But what is a game engine anyway? It's a foundation of making games. It's helping others create what their vision is. Like, it needs to have visual or audio or something, something that someone can experience. All games, all systems is built on the game engines. Anything that can help you make games better and faster. Or it needs to be usable as a tool by someone to create that experience. And yet, very few people know how they get made. So the main motivation behind uh, the project in general was when I first started looking around for resources about what was out there, uh, there wasn't too many approachable sources. Uh, obviously there was the Game Engine Architecture book, but that's uh, over a thousand pages long and not super inviting for newcomers. This, this field needs kind of more visibility. It needs to, quote unquote, be de demystified. The most, the most important thing we want the people to get is Game engines are not black magic. Making game engines is a viable thing to do, even, the, even for small teams or individuals. Making a game engine, that engine work, it's just like the dream of all the gameplay programmers. When you're, when you're at the beginning of, hey, let's make an engine, where the hell do you start, right? We need to be prepared for this to be able to, to even do a project like a game engine within three months. We were, we were aware of how long game engines usually take. They almost always take more than two years. Sometimes they can take up to like five to seven. There was a lot of unknowns and everyone was very uncertain about what we can ac accomplish. Game engine is kind of, it's massive. It's kind of vague. So the challenge is like, we don't know what we are doing. We have no clue what an engine, actual engine looks like uh, other than kind of through reading and using them. The team used a map to guide their way. Basically, we took the idea of an engine and broke it out into little blocks of what are, what are these singular pieces of the engine that we need to develop. Um, and then we kind of started layering things almost like a cake or a building where it's Everything on layer zero uh, depends on layer one, almost a dependency chart. It's kind of the biggest step and it can be scary, but it is really just a problem that can be divided and conquered. While I'm programming it out, I'm usually thinking, okay, how is this, solu how is this solution going to break? How, how am what I'm doing? What, what could I be doing better? Um, so it, it's kind of like a, when, you, it's not like when, you, when you're talking, you're kind of thinking of the next few words. And that's kind of what it is like for me when programming. It's you're really thinking of what am I going to do next? What am I doing wrong now? Programming, you can, you can do your work. You can have that result after like days of work on that. And it finally turns out it's good. And that... That, that's very satisfying. You know, and this team was a good team from the start. You could see that right off the bat. They had the passion to really follow this trail and, and take the bumps and the successes as they went. That they said up front that the best way to learn game engine programming is to program a game Absolutely. engine. And by going through that journey, they're coming up with some really good stories some of which they're sharing in their blogs, but those same stories will open doors for them as they go off and they, they interview for positions in this space. After two months of relentless work, the team had progress they could confidently show. 
So, at the beginning of November, we traveled to LA to show our progress to industry professionals. We got to meet with some really cool people and we learned quite a bit. We met a lot of people there. It's, it's, it's a very like, interesting experience for me. When we were talking to the interviewees, they gave their opinions on what things work in practice. Why are you making an engine? Um, so I, I think the, we're, we're all kind of making it for different reasons. Uh, but one of the biggest things is we want to understand what's going on mm -hmm. and it not to be a black box. What I found out was like they, they went through some of these similar problems that the team is going through now and they uh, also, a lot of them acknowledge like they don't know everything and that, that was a really like humbling experience for me um, and really exciting because it shows that they didn't just wake up one day and know how to make game engines. With industry approval, the team made the last push to finish their engine. Essentially, people would have to copy code or people could possibly... Uh, no, because I would code. argue it's the same thing with the class. To complete the process of building an engine by the end of the semester, the team regularly deliberated on what they could and couldn't accomplish. Definitely it's hard, so like different programmer has had different opinions about how the code should, should, like, should be like, but working with different programmers is like, it's very inspiring and also it's very efficient. No, the end of the previous thing is this. No, it's not. Zero F, blah, 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 blah. This That's is the end. The end. This no. Is, no, uh, Chaji, it's right before the CD. No, I, I, know, I know what's the, what's the structure of a string. There were times where one teammate made some changes and some other teammate made some other changes in some irrelevant files. And we, when, we were, when we were trying to merge them together, Git is just complaining that there's merge conflict, but there should never be merge conflict. That's what the error is. It's the size of a billion, trillion, million. Um, based on like what you're saying, you like, feel like you're a little bit behind. We were developing a feature and it took more than a few days. We had to kind of cut off and say, okay, this feature is not complete. It's not the best implementation. We kind of just had to make those compromises with the engine where I don't think those same compromises would be made in a professional environment um, just because you have slightly more time. From their talks with the professionals, the team had learned the most efficient way to iterate on your engine is by creating small mini-games showcasing the engine's different features. So yeah, this is, this is where we're at. So each week we put out our engine architecture again, but with checkboxes and progress marks and <laughs> just pure, this is what we're doing and kind of the changes we're making. It it does my heart good to see you guys doing this this kind of coding. I mean, because this yeah. is an obvious showstopper. To show that their engine could be used by any developer, the team held a game jam, a full day game making event, with other ETC students. I just feel like we are a very lucky and strong team that we were able to solve all of the problems together. Okay, if you just keep pushing at something and pushing and working with people who also are trying to get there and trying to understand, uh, you, you will eventually understand the topic that you're trying to do. I just want to thank you all on this project. It's very good. It's really a good, satisfying semester. And they are just in line with many other pioneers from the past who are doing just that, leaving a footprint for others to follow.
Thank you.